How's it guys? This is the Wilderness Channel. Uh, in this video I'm talking about building a grey water pond system. I'm just showing you the pond part. I've already discussed in the previous video how exactly it works. Um, so the first few pictures are of the actual uh, marking and um, digging of the, the pond. Um, it took roughly four days uh, for me to dig this pond by hand with a pick and shovel um, and then to, to sort of move the soil to the edges. Uh, so it was a considerable amount of effort um, and you can see on the second picture you can see the long furrow that leads into the pond um, that that is where the actual filtration or part of the filtration occurs for the pond um, in in these pictures you can see other angles of of the whole process the white pipe is actually the inlet pipe that will go into the pond and then the furrow uh, is going to be lined with a black liner, a, a rubber liner, and then filled with sand, which will act as the filtration system. Uh, yeah, you can see it more landscaped, um, and the rubber liner has been placed in the, the main pond, um, and then it's filled with water. This helps settle the liner so that you can then um, make sure that it's not going to shift once, uh, once everything's done. Okay, there you can see more landscaping has been done. You can see in the second picture the white sand, um, which was used uh, to to act as a filtration um, for the for the whole system. So that's essentially the landscaping, just with the rubber liner. You could, of course, just put rocks around the pond like this, and it would be perfectly all right to use like that. Uh, but I chose in the end to actually put tiles around the pond system and make it look more formal. Um, there's another picture of the um, furrow system coming into the pond. Um, that's connected to the main um, filters, which come from the main house, uh, which I, I have discussed in the previous video on rainwater collecting and grey water and my grey water system. Um, once everything's landscaped like this, uh, I had to make it as level as possible as well, uh, all the way around the pond. So um, sometimes I had to pull up the rubber liner and reset it. Then I placed the tiles just to get an idea of how much space they took and how they would fit around the pond. Um, and then the difficult part came trying to level everything. Um, not as easy as it looks. Um, you know, you hear all the stories in the books, but when you're working alone, it's very difficult. What I ended up doing was making um, concrete forms. If you look in the second picture there, uh, and subsequent pictures, you'll see there's concrete forms that I've made to, to sort of level the entire edge of the pond. So I put these forms all the way around the pond and, um, and try to get them as level as possible, as you can see in the first picture, and then uh, I laid the tiles so that they, they would be level. The tiles were laid so that they overlapped the edge of the pond and so they were not actually flush um, with the edge of the pond. Um, and I did this because I needed to also fill the inside of the pond with concrete. Um, I lined the pond with concrete and I painted it with bitumen sealer. Um, and, and then once it was done, uh, of course the edge of the tiles was now level um, with the edge of the pond. Um, you can see the pond's now being landscaped. The tiles are in place. Um, there's the bitumen on the on the inside of the pond for sealing it, acting as an extra seal, and um, that's the finished product. The pond actually is now looking very good. It's surrounded by plants, um, and um, you know within one season of growth, um, it's doing really really well. It's stocked with fish, and it's turned into a nice little ecological system with a lot of um, fauna and flora in the environment. So it's a nice little system. Um, the overflow from the grey water goes into the pond and also top up the pond with rainwater collected from the rainwater collecting system. 